Uh, greetings and salutations, all you fine feathered individuals. Welcome to another epi of Leak Unlocked. My name is Eric, joining you today for a little break from what's going down at the World Championship because we are looking ahead to 2025. We got bombshell news dropping in not one but two of the major regions. Yes, we're getting big format reveals for what the outlook in 2025 is going to be in both the LCK and the LEC and uh, strap in for this one because there's a whole lot of information to digest, especially in the LCK because there are radically different changes from what we got in 2024. And obviously this is... A thing that's going to be happening in pretty much all the major regions is complete revamping of the systems as we're merging so many different ones. But uh, the premier region in the world, the LCK, going to be broken into, well, first and foremost, there's just going to be a single LCK champion. Obviously, places like the LEC taking different routes, going to have three different champions. The LCK, the regular season is just one across the year. It's going to be broken up into uh, a couple different rounds, five different rounds, actually, but really played in two parts. But let's let's go through start to finish what the year is going to look like. Things are going to kick off with the LCK Cup, which they're calling a placeholder name. Don't worry, they'll come up with something better. And this is... I early on in the year, I imagine, uh, and this is going to be the top two teams. So that's going to be Gen G and Hanwha Life from the previous split. Going to take turns captaining, picking teams to put into their groups. And then uh, obviously, you know, the other eight teams in the LCK going to get picked up who they want in their group. And then cross matches against the teams from the other group will take place in single round robin action. So you're actually going to be one of picking good teams. So T1 is going to be the first overall pick, no question, hands down here, because the teams, it's almost like a team event. The group A and group B, you're going to add up the cumulative wins, and whichever group has more wins, the top three teams from that winning group advance right through to playoffs. The fourth and fifth place teams from that winning group will play the top four teams from the losers group in a play-in stage best of three bracket, which will eventually lead us with six teams seated based on the individual wins that they get. And then it's a soft double elim bracket, pretty much the exact same as what we have in the current LCK playoffs where round one there is not double elim you lose in round one you're out and then the winner of that bracket is going to qualify for the first yet to be named international tournament and was that enough information for you so two teams of five play against each other you're going to add up the win total and then the winning team the best teams from the winning side will advance to playoffs before we get to a normal bracket blah 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 blah, blah. whoa okay the most important thing for all that is uh, the best ofs during that are going to be Fearless Draft. Yes, most regions, this first kind of split is going to feature some form of Fearless Draft because that first and new international tournament held in March is also going to be featuring Fearless Draft. We don't have any information about that event yet, but warm up with the LC Cup. We go into the first international event. After that is when the first round of the LCK regular season actually starts and rumor has it I think they were saying that first international is in March so the actual LCK regular season isn't starting until either in March or maybe even April and this is where we're getting nine weeks of double round robin best of three which is very similar to what we get now in the regular season in the LCK top six advance to LCK Road to MSI. This is a King of the Hill playoff format, which means it's going to be a little bit less uh, games than the current playoff format over in the LCK. The loser's bracket or bottom bracket winner gets the second seed, and whoever goes through the winner's bracket undefeated gets the first seed for the midseason invitation. Also, round one and two is much more simple than what the LCK Cup is going to be. This is the most regular uh, of the formats or stages that we're going to be getting for the year in the LCK. 
Then we have the Midseason Invitational, which we know is not going to be in May, probably going to be a few months later uh, because there is so much more happening early on in the year. And then we come back from MSI for the regular season rounds three to five in the LCK. And to start this one off, Again, divided into two groups based on the round one to two standings. This is similar to what we got in the LPL summer split where you have the top five teams going into the legend group and the bottom five are going into the rise group. And then we're getting a triple round robin best of threes within their respective groups. So you're playing the other four teams in your group three times. That's... 12 best of threes that you're getting and then the top two from the legend group so the the good teams the top two advance right to round two of the playoffs so immediately get a bye in the first round the third and fourth seeds from that legend group move on to just round one of the playoffs and then you're gonna have it goes deeper those four they're sitting pretty just waiting the fifth seed Last place from that legend group and the top three from the rise group will battle in a play-ins bracket for the final two spots in playoffs. The bottom two in that rise group, you're gone. Your your regular season's over. You're not going to Worlds. It's done and dusted. And then you're getting five best of fives in that play-ins bracket with a upper and lower bracket winners. Uh, advancing as that fifth and sixth seed to playoff. So quite a journey to qualify for those squads. And then you're qualifying for an unfavorable matchup immediately into playoffs. And the then playoff bracket is a full double elimination bracket, which is even more than the current LCK playoff format. Even after round one, you're going into a loser's bracket. So it's going to be 10 best of fives, uh, which is obviously... Again, more than the current form current format, and then I believe it's just kind. There's no gauntlet. It's just top three. There's no regional finals anymore. I believe is what's going to happen. It's just your top three are going or top four, I guess, qualifying uh, for the world championship. But when you measure this up now to what you're getting in 2024, because that's what should be the whole format, you're going from 180 best of threes in 2024 to 179 best of threes in 2025 okay but the big change you're going from 19 best of fives this year to 29 in 2025 obviously most of those coming from the extended double elim bracket uh, to close out the regular season and then of course these dual added play-in uh, qualifications that you're getting in this LCK regular season. So obviously a very very different landscape to be looking at the LCK but all in all that kind of sounds exciting to me. You know, each split uh, or each round, whatever you want to call it, are very different. You can keep the regular format from last year, like you're getting in the regular season round one and two, because there was really nothing wrong with it. It just got a little bit boring when it was the exact same. So spicing things up, pulling things into two different groups in two different ways for rounds three to five in the regular season, and then the LCK Cup. It sounds incredibly confusing and convoluted at first, but I think as you see these games, as you see the format come together, when it's just a whole bunch of placeholder names and numbers, it's very confusing to actually follow what's going on. But I think overall, this is going to be an exciting format. Uh, obviously, the fearless stuff is going to be it's such a beautiful way to start the year when people still have no idea how the meta is even shaping up and then you're already losing champions. I don't know when this LCK Cup uh, is going to be starting. If the first international event isn't happening until March, maybe the whole season isn't starting until a little bit later. We're accustomed to most of these spring splits kicking off kind of mid-January. Maybe they're getting pushed to February, but some of these will probably take longer than a month, so... Who knows what actual dates are going to be, but the information is coming pouring in out of the LCK. Not to be outdone, the LEC also dropping a framework for what 2025 is going to be look like. Less sweeping changes uh, over in Europe because they already changed to this wild and wacky three-split format, which was actually four splits when you're talking about season finals. But thankfully, the biggest change and... The thing people were most upset about usually was championship points and season finals making things kind of meaningless. Both of those gone. No season finals, no championship points, 
Three splits still, but just three. Because season finals legit felt like a fourth split. And they also announcing that they're trying to go, the wording was a little bit weird here, but they're trying to go live as often on as possible on the live patch, that is. Like we got in the LCS this past year, LEC trying to implement that as well. I don't know if that means it's gonna be every week, every couple of weeks, whatever it is, the fact that they're trying to do that, two thumbs up. That was one of the best changes that we got out of the LCS coming into this year. Uh, but Europe's still gonna be broken into winter, spring, and summer splits. Winter is the most familiar to what we got this last year. Three weeks, best of one, round robin, top eight advance to a double elim bracket. Uh, and then that bracket eventually moves into best of fives from best of threes. The playoffs will feature fearless draft. So three week regular season that obviously is not gonna have any fearless draft because they're best of ones and that doesn't work. Uh, but top eight getting through, then we get into the fearless draft, which is where things get interesting anyways. And the winner of that playoff bracket goes right to this shall be named first international event of the year. They play through that. We come back. It's spring split where you are getting a seven week regular season, nine best of threes. So you play every team once in a best of three. Top six teams go to playoffs. It's a double elim bracket, no fearless draft. The finalists qualify for the midseason invitational. So that's pretty easy, self-explanatory. You get to bring in a little bit more best of three action in the regular season. And the biggest gripe I had with this current format for the LEC was that three week best of one. Doing that three separate times felt completely useless, especially when only two teams are even getting eliminated. The games really did not feel that high stakes. So immediately, not immediately, by spring getting these best of threes, great. Happy to hear it. Simple, easy to follow. We go to MSI. We come back for the summer split, and then the big changes come. The 10 LEC teams, we get split into two groups. Each team plays four best of three series. So you play everyone in your group in a best of three. The top two from each group advance to playoffs. Fifth place teams eliminated. Season's over. See you next year. Third and fourth place teams from each group play against each other much like we get in the play-in stage for the world championship the winners will get the final two spots in playoffs for a top six double elimination bracket top three qualify for worlds there's no season finals it's just that big bracket at the end simple concise but a little bit different again every split going to be different following in the footsteps of what you're getting out of the lck which you know the LCK has one regular season and only one LCK champion. The other, you know, round one and two of the regular season is really just to qualify for the midseason invitational. But definitely still some similarities between the two formats. The other big change that they kind of teased uh, is during the spring split. So only one of these finals is going to be a road show. That's the summer final where they go to a cool arena, uh, which we were desperately hoping for more in this uh, 2024 new format for the LEC. But in the spring split, they are teasing that they will be doing some road shows in arenas of teams choosing. Now this, they said not every week, every now and then when they can. So that means we might be getting dropped into the K Corp Arena, maybe G2, Fnatic, somewhere in either Berlin, Spain, Germany. We will have these kind of road shows for a weekend here or a match in the LEC. That's amazing. I hope that they do that more often, uh, not just in the spring split. I want to be seeing that in every split. I know there's a lot of resources that have to go into that, but when you already have an arena like K Corp, we don't even need the other ones. Just go there, and K Corp can split the revenue with uh, all the other teams in the league. But this is definitely a step in the right direction, definitely an improvement from what we were getting in this spring split three split format in the LEC over the last year or so. Uh, so both the LCK and LEC. Okay, we're delivering. 2025 is definitely ramping up. We wait to see what the LCS and the LPL, uh, the LPL obviously already changed a little bit of format, but I think each region is obviously going to have to kind of follow in some way, shape or form this three split format because they need to have ways to qualify for what will now be three international events of varying 
increasing sizes, right? This first to be named international event, it's just going to be one team from these major regions, MSI, you get two seeds, and then three to four qualifying teams for that world championship. So woo, 2025 heating up real quick. Can't wait to see and get more details about it as you know when this stuff is actually going to start but right now uh, we're not even done the world championship yet and i'm already absolutely buzzing for what we're going to get in 2025 but that is it today for league unlike my name is eric thank you to all you beautiful people for hanging out supporting us as always and you best believe we'll catch you on that flippity flip